Hey guys, welcome back. It's been, uh, I guess about seven days now. And it has been a tough seven days. We have traveled uh, north central Arkansas, uh, western Tennessee, um, oh yeah, into uh, central Arkansas, down around Little Rock. We've looked at so many trucks and you know, it's, it's just an emotional roller coaster of what is the right truck. I, I've never owned a diesel, so that was that was bothering me. Uh, everybody was telling me Cummins, and that's the Dodges. And I like the Dodges, they're, they're, they're pretty good. They didn't have as much room, I didn't feel like, in the cabs, but then they made a mega cab. And uh, you know, and I didn't have enough to buy a brand new one. And I thought, well, I'll buy me at least a later model, you know, like a 2012, 14, something like that. But I was still going to have to finance part of it. And then the whole goal was to be, you know, debt free. And uh, and there was a changer in the whole thing. And, and it never crossed my mind this would, would be the, the whole changer in it, is that when we actually went out and started looking for trucks, uh, as most of you know, my mother, she lives with me. Uh, she's 71, a little bitty thing. She, she's not very big. And uh, it's tall, you know, nothing like that. And uh, uh, Tina. And, Mom was having a hard time getting in, in a lot of those trucks, so I had to make sure it had running boards and everything like that. And then one thing happened that I just didn't realize is the back seat was not comfortable for her. And I sure didn't want to beat her to death in that back seat of that truck because, you know, these are going to be pretty tight suspension vehicles, the 2500s, the 3500s, the 250s, or the 350s. And the first uh, 250 that I looked at was uh, the one that I brought the RV home with. And, uh, and then come to find out it was a gas burner and it, it wouldn't it wouldn't pull it. It pulled it fine when we brought it from uh, Hot Springs, but I would have tore the truck up. The truck was not designed to pull that heavy of a, of a fifth wheel. So I started researching and the Dodges were good. Anything with diesel was pretty good, you know. I'm not gonna be humping it anyway, you know, or getting on it and, and it should they should do just fine. So anyway, so long story short, the back seats were not comfortable for mom. And we were waiting on a guy to go get some keys for uh, a truck or something at a dealership. And there was a Chevy sitting there. And she I opened the door, she opened the door and looked in the back and she goes, these seats look more comfortable. And what it was is the Chevy trucks have more of a contour seat. The Dodges, it seemed like that the back seats were standing almost straight up, you know, like you were just uncomfortable. You weren't, you weren't, uh, reclined it at all in the seats so she really liked that so then i started saying okay so we came back from memphis we were really discouraged uh so i found a gentleman on craigslist of course you know i wanted to buy from an individual because i'd know more about the truck so i found a truck the gentleman had it uh he bought it with thirty thousand miles on it and i'll just spin around let you see it okay it's a 2002 but the good thing is, it's paid for. <laughs> no payments. It's paid for. And even had money to spare so that I can do some things to it, like uh, I'm going to do some more, you know, nicer bed rails and, and stuff like that. And uh, uh, I'm going to order a new driver's uh, bottom seat. It's got leather. And that's one thing I've noticed with most of these uh, diesel trucks is that you know, I've seen some on Craigslist with 600,000 miles on them. And then I've seen some with 400,000 miles, you know, and they were asking a pretty good price for them. Well, this truck, the gentleman uh, is 75 years old, really good health. And he and his wife had this truck. And matter of fact, they took their uh, fifth wheel to Alaska with this truck. Like I say, the Carfax shows he bought it with 30,000 miles. He lived in a very, very nice neighborhood in, in uh, Maumelle, Arkansas and uh, he had taken really good care of the truck. It, it does have a few dings and dents. That's because it's a 2002, but it really runs good. I just went and had the oil changed, uh, which is uh, expensive for a diesel truck, 100 bucks to have the oil changed. It'd been more than that if it had been the 15th one. But anyway, so I, uh, I'm, I'm glad. I'm happy we're gonna even have extra money for us to go traveling and that's that's one reason too I wanted to do this video. We are going to travel uh, here soon and our plans are to spend Christmas 
uh, in New Orleans or in, out in the outskirts of New Orleans. Um, we're going to be on uh, Lake Pontchartrain. Uh, of course, for us, uh, we're not going to do a lot of uh, sightseeing except maybe drive around. I, I've been to New Orleans before, but I thought I could at least take mom and Tina down in the French quarters and we can drive around and we can have the dogs with us in the truck and, and they can see the French quarters and stuff like that. So that's what we're planning on doing. So chances are uh, probably the 13th or 14th we'll be leaving here in northeastern Arkansas going into Memphis, Tennessee, taking I-55 south all the way down to uh, New Orleans. So if there's any of you that happen to live in that area on I-55 or close to I-55 and, and you would like to, you know, stop and visit or, we, you know, like for us to stop or something to visit, and you can kind of look at that distance. It's about uh, eight hours, I guess, to uh, New Orleans. We would probably travel, uh, I'm thinking probably four hours one day and stop that night somewhere at a, a RV park. Probably not hook up everything, just get the electricity hooked up and uh, use the tanks, not even hook into the sewer system. Uh, because I don't want to have to hook everything up and stay one night and unhook everything. So, uh, but at least we can pull our pull outs, our slide outs out. Uh, we could stay at a Walmart parking lot, but they don't really like you pulling out your slide outs on the Walmart parking lot. So, you know, it's really kind of hard to get inside that thing. You can get in there and you can get in the beds with the pull outs or the slide outs in, but that's not something I really want to do. So I'm probably going to find one and I might even stay at that RV park a couple of days and then head on in and for more hours or whatever it is to get to the, uh, the RV park that we're going to be staying in. Uh, we're going to be on the north side of Pontchartrain, which will be across the uh, Pontchartrain uh, Chase Bridge, I think it's called. It's just like a 24 mile bridge. It's a big bridge, 22, 24 mile bridge. It goes all the way across Lake Pontchartrain, but we'll be on the opposite end of that bridge. Uh, it might have been uh, Mandeville, Mandeville, Louisiana. Uh, they have a state park there that's, you know, and I think we're going to spend Christmas there and probably a few days after Christmas, maybe not that. Christmas weekend uh, because we don't want to hit all that traffic, but that's that's our plan. So anyway, we've got the truck. Uh, I've got a lot of work to do to it between now and the 13th or 14th. Uh, I'm going to get out the, uh, there's a toolbox in the back. I'm going to take that out. I, I'm not really wanting the, the toolbox in there. I think it's taking up too much space. Uh, let's see if I can't maybe get the door on this thing. At least maybe you can see something. I know the wind's tough, guys. That's why I'm trying to keep it pointed away. You know, not uh, See if I can get this open. You can at least see a little bit of it, but it's it's a pretty clean truck. Wow. Really good shape. Boy, this thing will roll. Man, I, I was surprised. I, I could not believe it, but it, you might be able to see in there. But see, there's the back. They have a pretty nice contoured seats. Uh, that way, mom and the poodle can ride back there, and then Tina and I will be up here, and uh, this this folds up so. We can put uh, Dixon in the middle if we want to, and we may even put a little dog bed up here, then Dixon can ride. I'm trying to work on the fact that I have done probably three videos this week uh, while driving, and I'm having a problem with a lot of noise and sound, and this thing's gonna be even worse because it's diesel. And my little cheap GoPros, they're the, the least lowest part of the line that you can get, but I bought two of them, at brand new, at a really good price but they don't have a way to hook an external uh, microphone. But I can do it, I can, you know, dub my sound over onto another camera while I'm driving and use a mic, and I may have to do that, but I, I really wish I had a GoPro that had the mic hook up to it, and um, I may eventually get one, but I've got so many cameras, I just feel like that's just a waste of money to be buying something like that. Unless I was to maybe sell the two that I've got and maybe, you know, take put something with it, buy me one that's, uh, a little upgrade that I can plug in a mic because these GoPros are really good because of the, uh, you know, the wide angle. You can see a lot better in a vehicle than you can with my uh, uh, SLR digital camera. And uh, I'm planning on making me a bracket right here. I mean, of course, you can see I've got my bracket for my camera, but I'm going to give me a T bracket that comes across. That way, I can put one GoPro shooting out the window and one GoPro shooting into the truck. And then that way, I can do it to where. If I'm driving, you're just not seeing me, you know, flat my gums and just seeing my face, then I can edit in and put in some B-roll, they call, of, of the surroundings around me at the same time I'm talking. So you can kind of see what I'm seeing at the same time. But anyway, I am going to go edit this and download it. And I appreciate you guys so much. But if anybody's going to be between northeastern Arkansas and uh, New Orleans, Louisiana, uh, somewhere in the area of I-55, 
especially about midpoint, if you can find a place along there in midpoint, because that's probably going to be where I'm going to stop for the first night. Uh, but but we will be stopping. We stop quite often. Uh, when you've got three people that are getting up in age, we do have to stop quite often. <laughs> and uh, so, you know, just, just drop me a line or something like that or send me a private message if you want to. Or if you want to, you can do this. Uh, I'll put the email at the bottom. I've never done it before, but it's ArkansasPrepper at Yahoo.com. You can email me there uh, if you have a hard time finding that PM thing. So, uh, and matter of fact, I'll probably see it if you send it to Arkansas Prepper at yahoo.com a lot faster because I don't always check my, my Gmail stuff, you know, that comes in that way. And of course, I always see my comments right away, and then I would definitely see that on the, uh, um, uh, anything that you send on uh, Yahoo because I keep that going all the time on the screen. So, thanks a lot again, guys, for watching, and uh, see y'all soon.